people and welcome back to the hunt, i.e. Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Ugh, good times, good times. Where last we left off, I had been hunting a... What a hand, a Nibble Snarf, I think it was? It's been a while now. Anyway, I had been hunting a Nibble Snarf and got him killed. Uh, after having upgraded my, uh, sword... Well, not upgraded so much as building a new sword with the Chak Chak, which you currently see me wielding. Um... And yeah, clearly I haven't done much in the way of getting ready after that. Ooh, what's this? I've been waiting for you. Good trouble here. I say, do you recall the monster I spoke about called the Zinogre? Yeah, the same beast was pretty big. They've been casualties of all the villagers. Oh my god! 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 Yes. Hunt the Zenogre. Oh my god, this is it. This is, this is gonna be great, guys. This is gonna be absolutely great. I might lose, I might die, but I don't even care. I want you to see me do this hunt, win or lose, and depending how it goes, I might record extra copies of the same hunt, just so you can see the progression of going from bad to good. Because this fight... This is one of the best fights in the game, yo. This is uh, this is one of my favorite fights that I've ever done in a Monster, in a monster Hunter game. Maybe I shouldn't oversell it too much, but uh, we're definitely going to take a couple minutes extra really prepping for this fight, making sure we've taken all the correct materials before we go in for the kill. Actually, this might not be a bad uh, time to uh, upgrade my, you know, to take time to do my upgrading my hot springs uh, quests and all, but I don't want to do that right now. That, that will distract from the fight. So let's do the fight first. And uh, maybe when we hit the next tier of Star Quest, uh, uh, we'll we'll look at the hot springs and and the drinks and do those quests next uh, to increase my overall options. Right now, let's hunt a Zenogre. Uh, Zenogre is a Thunder Beast. How am I doing for Thunder Resistance? Excellent, excellent. The Bareth suit has ten Thunder Resist natively. That's 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 p perfect. Uh, try and get these worm stacks underneath a hundred. Before switching over to other stuff, bunch of night seeds. Okay, so far so good. Uh, what else? Sign, please. This is me just doing the the whole farm deal. Now, the Zenogra fight for that fight specifically, I'm gonna want to make sure I have uh, the best I can in terms of recovery equipments. So we're gonna want to take not only potions, mega potions. We're gonna want a full thing of honey. Let's, let's just adjust the bag. I don't want bug nets. I'm not gonna be picking up bugs during this mission. Uh, Psycho Serum. I don't need cooler hot drinks because this isn't the terrain that has those. Uh, what else? Let's go. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. We're gonna need. Full stock of mega potions. Full stock of potions. Well, one short is fine. Uh, we're gonna need honey. Wherever my honey is. There it is, top left. To combine with the potions. I think that removed the honey. Okay, guys. We're gonna need. Uh, I don't mind taking steaks just to restore stamina as we go. Um, I don't have ancient potion and or max. Potion, but I would like those. I think Kelby Horn plus something, which I may not have. Yeah, I don't have it. I think Catalyst plus Dragon Toadstool makes the immunizer. Yes, that's it. And that's it. I don't have any other Dragon Toadstool, so I need more of those later. And then Immunizer plus Kelby Horn makes Ancient Potion. Ancient Potion gives you 100% health, 100% stamina. So, that's a buff that I'm going to want to have handy uh, in case I do die. What else? Something to cure out of stun. I don't really need anything. There's a thunder resistance berry of some kind. No. Okay, now I'm overthinking it. Uh, other things I might want are shock traps. Uh, if he starts limping because he's crippled, I would like to, and I, it's obvious, it might be convenient to just immobilize him and take him out that way. 
What else? I guess I could technically go full out for broke, take 10 blue mushrooms and 10 herbs so I can create a new batch of 10 potions. Should the fight go really, really badly. And, uh... At that point, I might as well be taking some Book of Combos with me. So that I can improve the likelihood of successfully completing the combinations. No, that's not what I'm going for. Take out... Okay. That's quite enough in terms of preparation for items. The truth of the matter is, I haven't fought a Zenogre in so long, I'm not going to remember his patterns anyway, and that's that's really what the most important thing is, for getting a fight right. 5,000 points? I should spend them on something. I can upgrade my Beehive. I don't know what a Marathon Regiment is. Probably look at that later. For the time being, Mining Points, Obtain a Rare Ores, or Increased Honey Production. Increased honey production. It's fine. <sighs> Alright, uh, oh. Yeah, one more thing I can do in terms of outfitting myself before I go, and that is upgrade my companions a little bit. Uh, yo, guys, any new weapons that you have available? Attack 26, under 10, attack 30, untyped. It requires scraps that I don't have. And I'm not about to make a bunch of scraps. Maybe I am. What can I create scraps from? Whatever. We'll deal with outfitting my pets some other time. For the moment, enough delay. Let us take on the Howler. Give me a far caster, bro. I want to be able to get out quickly. Those are more for home than for now. I just want to have those handy so I can continue to make immunizers and ancient potions. Ooh, easy pitfall trap. Probably because shock traps aren't going to work that well against this his uh, electricness. Also, I just realized I forgot to do something important. Uh, I'm going to abandon the quest, which retains all of your items. I think you lose your initial fee that you pay to go on the quest, but that's all you lose, which isn't, you know, that high. And the reason I did it is because I want to swim in the pool first. Oh, god damn it, seriously? Sometimes it gives you option exit to area, and I was hoping it would take me straight to the guild hall easier. Bonus to heals. Random bonus, probably to my attack value. Yep, attack value along with balance, I don't know what that means, and riser. Probably had something to do with my... Yeah, just exit. Alright. Now you may send me on the urgent quest. Of course, the contract fee is pretty high, too. Like, I'm probably down to my last thousand zenny. Um, gonna need to actually think about my finances after this fight is over. Keyword after. Let's go. The Zenogre will almost certainly be in the area we first saw him in. Area 5. Uh because that's where I would have put him if I was making this game. Po poetic and all that. We'll cross through area 4 just in case and be sure to paintball that sucker ASAP. I really anticipate this fight will end up being a protracted fight as opposed to a nice and quick one. Which I'm okay with. He's not here. Hmm. Huh. He's not in 1, 2, 4, 5. Check 6, 7, and then we'll, uh, Psycho Serum. It's 
not exactly a sneaky kind of guy. There it is. Cutscene. I probably won't say quite as much during this night. Just enjoy the epicness in the music, assuming that the emulator handles it right. He's such a wolf. Alright, there you are, bro. He took all my stamina out in one sequence. I just broke his sparkle. Which means he's not gonna be quite as electrically charged for a bit. Oh! Oh! God, yes. Probably gonna be a stun. So the electric light that's been on me incre increases the odds of him successfully stunning me with a high intact attack. see him charging up like that, you have a very limited time in which to deal significant damage. If you succeed, great. If you don't, well, this time I didn't start early enough so I'm not even going to attempt it. He becomes electrically charged. And with sufficient electric charge he explodes in, in electric mode of sorts. By the time I find him on his next screen, he's probably going to have had time to charge a little bit more. Let's not give him that time. Oh! Ugh. Bad time to jump him. Nope! Did not deal sufficient damage. He got off his Nova. Let's uh let's get to the previous screen and heal real quick. If they gave me anything to deal with uh
No, they didn't. One, two, three. You'll notice that occasionally the streaks uh, from my attack animation, instead of being that maroon color that they are now, are bright red. When that happens, it means that I've crit and I'm dealing 150% bonus uh, total damage, I believe. Right there. Come on! Give me some. That's just a shield moment for sure. Oh, sweet, toppled. Focus the tail. Not because it's the weak spot, just because I it's the only place I can see that I will be able to get some damage. Yes. Staggers twice in a row. I do believe his tail gets severed too. Hip check and that's a shiny. Fulgur bug. Okay, he is panting. Yeah, considering this guy is the signature monster of the game, I'm doing a really good job. Signature monster as in he's on the cover art and everything. I'm doing a really good job against him right now. Clearly I must have a lot of practice. Oh, fuck. Good job, sir. Thought I saw an opening when I did not. I'm gonna need a whetstone any moment. Alright. Fully sharpened. Yeah, when he's at full rage mode, he follows up that first electric uh, hurl with a second one. My guess is when he's panting like this, he doesn't quite have that energy. He's still panting. It must take a lot out of him to do all of his uh, big charge attacks. High stamina use. Alright, he's not panting anymore. I can probably not break him, but I can at least get there before he's... When he's gone from no charge to charge, he's not going to do his Nova. I need to heal big time. No! I was going so well too, and then that's all it takes, one... Good combo, lands under your guard, and boom. Down. Alrighty, well. Right on the kitty cart, my health and stamina are back to... Whatchamacallit's... Ordinary baseline. Still, this gives me, this is why I brought the Ancient Potion with me, so I can get back to the 100%, 100% mark, despite having died once. Or not 100%, the uh, 150 health, 150 stamina. If I die again, all bets are off. That right there, that's me breaking his charge. building as a defense. Since this Ancient Potion also fully recharges my my current health, or regenerates my current health, I'm kind of holding off on using it until I need the health recovery a little bit too. 
but I need to be careful not to hold off too long. God. If other monsters in this game follow the dinosaur uh, style, this one follows the dog slash wolf style. That's an ally heal, excellent. No, not letting you do this, bro. Damn it! Thought I could stop him, I really thought I could stop him. He got me. Thank god I took the time to build a full Barrett armor. Doing this without proper resistance would have been incredibly hard. Okay, that's either a stun or an instantly please use a uh, ancient potion moment. 150 health, 150 stamina. Come on, bitch, what you gonna do to me now? And save me the use of one or two mega potions in the process. Cracking something. Alright, right. sharpening time. One, two, three, and sharpen. Be good. Come on. Oof, barely. And man, look at the stamina cost even blocking that. Roar. Thought I could have my shield up before he moved, but nope. Hey, I'm no longer Thunder Blighted, thank god. If there's a way to cure Thunder Blight, having that for this fight is not a bad idea. Since ultimately it's the stun combo that's gonna kill you. And that's something else I like about this fight, is just how broad his move repertoire is. He's got a whip around spin attack, he's got his, uh... Tail whip, he's got his, uh... Lightning shot... And his triple strike. That doesn't look like a limp to me. Is he limping? Is that limping? Shit. Paintball expired and I don't know where he went. He went down the side of the cliff, so let's check 6 and 5. Yeah, if he was limping, then I may be in much better shape than I'm giving myself credit for for this fight. Which is good. I'll tell you, the first time I fought this guy, I died. Like, straight up lost the fight. Oh, he is restoring stamina by eating something. And when that happens, there's usually a shiny afoot. There's what he was eating, and... No shiny? Rats. Wrong angle to block. Maybe I had to be there to watch the moment of the attack. Ooh, that, that right there, that was the backflip with his tail attack that I was talking about, and it is up. Has massive stun potential. Triple strike. Check once more to make sure there's no shinies. He's gonna be able to get a full charge here and there's nothing I can do to stop him. Shielding was all that I could do there, but that shielding put me in the right position to follow up with an extra attack. Thunder dogs. Damn, that's probably a stun. Nope, that's a stun. And at half health, I'm probably dead too. No stun? Holy crap. Run. Two.
dodge, and he just blew the hell out of that tree. Hey, stagger! A trip, whatever. Not getting rid of me that easy, bro. Heal up once more, and then... We did get him tagged, right? Yeah, okay, good. Let's use the honey here. Do some quick combos. Get a few more mega pots going. Oh, I already have full honey, don't I? Yeah, I have full honey. I need to do the combines first. Now I can potentially get more honey. Might seem like a waste of time in the middle of a boss fight, but think of it this way. It's the same honey I'm going to collect off my improved honey box at the farm, and I'm already standing right here. That's not limping. Crap this fucker. I don't think this is gonna be a capture moment because I'm not gonna try to capture him. But I will just use the trap to deal extra damage. Come on, right here. Ah! All the bloody times for my sword to not be sharp. Hey, I broke his face! Excellent! I guess I'm pretty sure I broke something. Created a vulnerability and got a full few swords slashes in. That was worth it. Yeah, if that's limping, I don't want to see what pouncing is. I have my own shock trap, so if I'm feeling really bold, I might attempt a shock trap in the future, but not while he's glowing with electricity. That just seems stupid on the face of it. There's gotta be a reason they gave me pitfall traps instead of a shock trap for this mission. Very flashy, but at the end of the day, as long as I'm behind you, I'm off to the side a little. There we go, knocked him out of his electric mode, so now I'm okay with attempting the pitfall trap, or shock trap. Kill! Holy crap, I could have capped him. Maybe that was what his limp animation looks like, and I just didn't recognize it. Oh, that fight was amazing. That was, for me at least, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I clearly did, but invigorating from beginning to end. That music is pulsating. It's it's his theme song too. Other bosses have music based on the level they're in, but this guy gets the good, the good music. The Zenogre music, regardless of what level he's in. Um, the kill took almost a half hour, right? Uh, no, it took about 20, 20 minutes, give or take. Which is a good time, good time. And, uh, overall areas for improvement, I did die, so that's an obvious one. But I didn't really take nearly as big a beating as I was anticipating I probably would. I was picturing myself getting knocked around constantly. Maybe I have this guy's pattern down better than I give myself credit for. I certainly remembered a lot of his moves. Whatever the reason, good fight. We'll do again. We'll be very happy to do again in the future. Especially when the game's going to require me to for various reasons. Um, but yeah, that's the Zenogre. Uh, and while he is the flagship monster for Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, he is certainly not the last monster in the game, or even the hardest necessarily monster in the game. In fact, I'm fairly sure that the game considers him not even top tier 
not even on the highest tier of monsters. But they are going to throw me a little celebration for having killed the thing. As well they should. That's Cha-Cha. That's Cha-Cha from Moga Village. That's wearing various feline masks. Wow, that yeah, that that's the guy from Lost Prophet Cry. That's uh, the meat slash Aptonoth steaks that you get. NES game. Actually, I don't remember this part of the game at all. I probably didn't watch this cutscene through the completion. Oh, it's credits. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip credits. I don't really need to see that. What I do want to show you guys is that that is not the end of the game. So. And now that the last monster is beaten. Thank goodness you've returned. Don't know that you love, but if you would come back injured, not to mention you succeed in defeating Zenogre. Thank you so much for everything. Succeed expectation. Please continue. Here's a reward. Blacksmith is now offering new weapons as well. Oh, okay. We'll have to check that out later. Yukumo ticket times three. I don't know what that's from or for, but cool. And here we go. The next few quests will include the Nar include the Nargakuga, which is kind of like a, a, a pantherish. Uh, you know, if, if, if the Xenogre is like a wolf, this will remind me of a panther. Double Ludroth at tier 4. Another Xenogre in a different world. The Baryeth. Oh, it used to be one of my favorite duels. Still is pretty cool. Double Baggy. Uragon. Raphalos, so the uh, king of the air instead of the queen. Volvidon. Double Volvidon, whatever. Three Rathians in a row. Fuck me. Uh, that's actually. This seems very doable. Bulladrome, Great Baggy, and Lagombi is very doable. So there's a lot of these uh, Zeus that kill kill a pair, or kill uh, a double, and then there's a few new monsters. So there's a lot of us, a lot of things that we'll be looking at in the future, but. Uh, the future is then, um, blah 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 blah, something blah, Sunspire jewels to make new, uh, thing in bobs. True Yukumo Saber and Usurper's Firebolts. Okay, but what else can it do? Requires Yukumo Ticket, Lotso Dragonite Ore. And holy crap, look at the green on that thing. That thing is huge. Usurper's Firebolt. 
less green, but it has Thunder 25 on it, so it's technically actually a better weapon damage-wise. And while this one isn't going to go blunt on you, which is nice, who cares? I can always just resharpen this. That's a sizable enough amount of green to work with. Also, compared to my current equipment, straight upgrade. Yeah, I guess I lose 5% affinity, but whatever. <sighs> Pardon me. Uh, other things uh, to note are the upgrade from Chalk Chalk to Chalk Chalk is still an availability if I can find Diablos Marrow. Tusk Gear to Fossil Gear would no longer really be very damage efficient. And Hydra Knife Plus is totally doable, but again, I'm already at that level of damage pretty easily. Alright, that's enough uh, for the time being. Um, oh yeah, you had a new magazine for me to buy. Anything else new? I can now buy a tier up of Pierce Shot, which is nice. The Book of Combos 4 is in the, on the market. <coughs> oh, that's 200 gold. I'll pick something up for 200 gold, no problem. Got it all, I think. Uh, yeah. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next, honestly, in terms of in terms of uh, you know either going directly to the next quest or whatnot, but uh, we'll see. For the time being, um, I think that's enough for, for now. So thank you all for watching the, my favorite, what is easily my favorite fight in the game, the Zenogre fight. Hope you all had as much fun as I did. Again, please feel free to. Uh, Say what you like or don't like. I, I'm always happy to see this channel grow. Comments, subscriptions, likes, favorites, etc. All of them are good. And if there's something you specifically want to see me do in Monster Hunter uh, Portable 3rd, you just let me know. And uh, probably won't do it, but I'll know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time.